Hello guys, uh, welcome to Get In Depth and it has been quite a long time since we have our last interaction. So it is exam week, uh, GATE computer science exam is due this weekend on 4th February. So we thought of coming up with another video for last minute tips. And hi, I am Tathagat De and uh, with, if, if you are a GATE aspirant, GATE computer science aspirant, I believe she needs no introduction. <laughs> so please welcome Bhavna Shilani. And uh, so some of the questions we received on LinkedIn, we will be answering them. So let's start. I guess uh, we shouldn't waste our time. So, first, the question most frequent of the questions was how many tests in the last week should they attempt? In the last week, yeah. like in the last week, I wouldn't recommend to attend a lot of tests. Max, you can attend two tests, or you should just like now there are four days left now, so you should just not attempt any more tests. Whatever you were supposed to do, you have done already. Is that what you followed? Yes, I also did not attempt any test in last four days specifically. Gate was on 4th Feb only for us also. No, no, 5th. 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 Okay, so there were four days in Feb left. So no, I, so attempt, I, I last attempted the test on 30th January. 30th, yeah. right. Same. Almost same. And then another question was, uh, what are the revision strategies of last week? Seven days, you are not attempting any test, then, test, then you should be revising all the concepts. Uh, last seven days or last five days, yeah, I would say. Uh, yeah. uh, Revise, like don't rev now. There's no time for in depth revision, like entire revision. You should just, if you have made some memory sheets, you can go through them. You can revise short some notes. formulas, short notes, which would be max 40 pages for all subjects, I would say. And you could also read uh, some of your mistakes which you committed if you noted them down, the common mistakes you were committing in every test. That was uh, wonderful. And another question is this is one of the most. I guess one of the most important questions mm -hmm. uh, many people asked about anxiety control. That it is exam week, I mean, people get anxious day by day mm -hmm. as the exam approaches. And also in the uh, exam hall, other kind of panic and all. This. So let's talk mm -hmm. about that later. But how to deal with the anxiety that comes up uh, each day passing in the last week? This is the most important thing to deal with because at the end, it won't matter, matter how much you studied, how much you revised. What would, what would matter is how much you were able to perform in those three hours. So you need to have a control on your anxiety to perform your best, whatever you have prepared. So just keep this in mind that you have done a lot and stay confident. Just chill for four days now. Just revise little bit and little bit and be confident. Confidence is the most important. And also keep in mind that if you don't keep, uh, don't, uh, keep your anxiety in control, you will lose whatever you have prepared. You won't be able to perform. That's right. And also in the last three hours it is a different kind of panic I guess because uh, you know in our times the exam paper was quite hard I believe in the last few three years so, yeah. mm -hmm. so how to deal with that kind of situation I mean I believe I faced a different kind of pressure in the exam hall because I, I, I just thought that the paper is not quite obvious like the previous years mm -hmm. so that's a different kind of pressure I believe from the for, in fact the first few minutes also mm -hmm. so how to deal with that kind of situation if you are confident you have you know you have prepared for the entire year so what is difficult for you is not just difficult for you now you should keep in mind that it's difficult for everyone and move on to the next question or something like that that's it and yeah, i guess this is the last question mm -hmm. that is the strategy to attempt those uh, 65 questions many people have different kind of strategies like attempting these uh, subjects or uh, marks or whatever so what was mm -hmm. your strategy and what do you suggest uh, so uh, Earlier, there used to be one mark question separate and two mark yeah, questions yeah. separate. No? But from our paper, it, it was, was just up. aptitude separate and all other questions separate. One and two were, were mixed up. Huh. One and two were mixed up, all subjects mixed up. Yeah. So you just cannot plan what subject you can attempt first or what mark question you can attempt first. All you could plan is you should do aptitude first or technical first. Yeah. So yeah, you can just complete aptitude quickly if you are, if you are very confident at aptitude. Or if you are confident at technical, then go with technical first. Like if you are starting aptitude and you are taking a lot of time, then just don't start with aptitude. And don't follow any specific strategies. Just I believe they should order. be open to I mean uh, different kind of subjects. Like if they are facing uh, challenges in one particular subject question, mm -hmm. then move to another subject. I mean yes, move to yes, another yes. part. I believe that should uh, work pretty well. If you find a question you know you won't actually, be yeah. able to solve, then move on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I guess that's it and we wish good luck to all, all of the guests. Yeah.